morning. So how beautiful is this? We arrived a little bit late yesterday, uh, almost in the dark, to uh, Mbudi camp. And yo, we've got campsite number five, which I didn't know. Um, I reckon this is the best campsite here. Check out this background behind me. Absolutely amazing. Everybody's up. Um, last night the hyena came through and just knocked over and destroyed anything they could. Um, there was four. Um, they were having a big fight in front of the front of the Ritson's bush larper. Um, so already some cool action on the first night. But what we'll do is uh, tonight I'll take a camera into uh, into to bed with me so that if, we, if something goes on we can at least try and get some. Uh, Get some content there but yeah it was very cool but yeah just enjoying the morning um taking it easy we're going to definitely go on a game drive this afternoon and then maybe even lunchtime we'll head out and have lunch somewhere there's a lot of water around so we're gonna have to just see where we can and can't drive um but uh yeah it's uh sure just so good to be here check this place With all that mud yesterday, check this, how much all the mud all over the car. Brad took a wrong turn and his car's even worse, but we recently fitted these Tackler seat covers and yo, I'm glad I did. Fit the seat so nicely. Got our own logo put into it. So yeah, it looks looks amazing. Very, very chuffed. Very happy. And in the back I'm even happier because kids make a flippin' mess there all the time. So it's lacquer to have some seat covers on you. And uh, yeah, with the mud in and out of here, definitely needed. What you doing, Lex? What you doing? Playing. You like this game?
guys remember from one of our other episodes this uh, same uh, little watering hole with the line on it not so little anymore check that out Checking out a water crossing or a bit of water that we weren't sure how deep it would be. Um, we've uh, heard some lions, so. She's also watched all the tracks that we might have had. Yeah, I'm busy trying to find them. This game vehicle just came flying in the other direction and actually clipped the side of my car. Um, idiot. I don't know why they can't just give you five seconds. He's obviously in a rush somewhere, so we'll be sure to find him just now. Anyway, hope you'll find the lion. Okay, so we heard line, but we've come up on this this bit of shrubbery here, and then there's apparently a leopard inside. There's quite a few vehicles here, so we haven't seen it yet, but Ashley came over the radio and said it popped its head up. And, um, yeah. It must be out the bush now. Maybe it's out the bush now. Anyway, it's going to be tricky to get a shot, but we'll do our best. Guys, I tell you what, this morning was magic. I tell you, we had an adventure. A few water crossings that were a bit deep, which wasn't a good idea. Game, a game vehicle that was in a rush to go and see the leopard sighting that we saw. Um, you know, we we in a convoy of four cars. They meant to pull over. One vehicle's meant to pull over, let four bar. That's just sort of the courtesy and the way it works. This guy was in such a rush, he pulled out before. I could even get past him and, and look at this. Check here. So, it's one of those things, but certainly very unnecessary. And um, yeah, the, the, the guards that are going around here don't seem to like the self drive guys very much, unfortunately. Um, and uh, yeah, it's disappointing that they, their attitude is not great. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, lucky we had a fantastic leopard sighting after that. Um, yeah, geez. Leopard coming down the tree. I managed to get some good good footage there and stuff that I've been wanting to get for a while. And uh, 
first leopard that we've seen in this area since we've been coming here. So excited about that. Um, and yeah, just a, a great morning all around. Um, you know, little things like that. It's one of those things. I guess that's why you have insurance and um, it is what it is. But yeah, sure. The weather's fantastic. Temperature's great. Um, lots of water, but it's subsiding really quickly. A lot of the puddles in the road are already quite small. So yeah, getting down. So yeah, we were spending the afternoon in camp. I'm gonna make some bread and um, yeah, just enjoy it. Uh, yeah, here in the background, you might be able to hear, but I hear lots of planes going by, helicopters. So it seems like the tourism in Botswana is picking up. There's quite a buzz. Well, that's how it feels. And uh, you know, the guys are out doing flips and the, the game vehicles that are coming past us are quite full. So it's good to see. Um, after COVID, I think they need it. Ash? Ashley Schneider on tour with us for the first time and first time in bots. It's been two years in the making, but he's finally here. Better what do you think? Than, better late than never, China. <laughs> but it is magic. Okay, hey? how's that uh, leopard sighting this morning? Great, great, great. Awesome. Just don't get better than that, eh? She's, yeah, we got lucky there. But that's the bush, eh? Bush luck, as they say. And now we uh, yeah, are looking forward to a nice chilled afternoon. I don't think we're going to drive, we're going to just relax and. Schneider's on dinner duty, and what's on the menu? Fillet steak. Oh, got fillet some, steak. I yes, think baked potato. Yeah. I don't know, that's Lauren's department. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the wives' department. That's, we just worry yeah. about the meat. We, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Get the meat in. Yeah, exactly. What I'll do is I'll just buy uh, like a pre mixed beer bread from the spa, local spa. It's the easiest thing. They come like this. Let me show you. This is chili cheese. I don't actually know what I'm making now because I lost the bag part, but but yeah, I just keep these and they last long, long, long time, which is awesome. Um, beer, normally normally a 330 mil, so we had to just decant and put it into 330 and nice mixing jug. We whip that up and uh, I forgot my, uh, my bread tin at home, so we're gonna use foil this time, but normally I have a nice little bread tin that fits perfectly in the oven. What I also do is just uh, put butter all over the tin. Just helps it uh, not stick and also gives some good taste and a bit of butter over the top once I put it in the tin. Um, and then we'll just put it in the camp oven um, for, takes about 40 minutes, um, so not too long. And uh, just keep an eye on it. Sometimes I pull it out, I spin around, obviously put a bit of coals on top of the oven and um, yeah, end up with some lacquer fresh bread, which normally gets completely devoured before dinner even happens. So. Yeah, looking forward to it. watching another one of our episodes in Epic Africa. Coming up in episode 3 we explore more of a very wet choir and have more amazing wildlife encounters. If you enjoyed this video there are many more on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. 